Welcome back to Money Mondays with Melissa. This past weekend we celebrated Veterans Day and I have to say thank you to each and every member that serves our country. Thank you to the family members of military uh, service members because at the end of the day you are serving with them. As a real estate agent where I do sell properties in Queens and Long Island, I have to tell you that I work with a lot of military members that are both selling and buying properties and I think it's such an awesome honor and I think that if you are a military person and you have the opportunity to purchase a home with a VA loan, I don't understand why you shouldn't. Um, VA loans allow you to purchase a property with no money down. Now while I'm selling properties in Queens and Long Island, I, do, I will tell you that we have attorneys on every transaction so they will be looking for money to be put down on contract, but you can get that money down at, back at the closing table. So at the end of the day, you really can buy a house with no money down. Um, also you can have your closing costs rolled into the loan. Not necessarily rolled into the loan, you really are more rolling it into the terms of the price you were negotiating with the seller um, to go towards your closing costs, but that is an opportunity there in VA loan world. Um, getting a VA, loan, a VA loan, you do not have to worry about having a monthly mortgage insurance premium, which you would have if you were getting a FHA loan, nor would you have to worry about the PMI, which you would have if you were getting a conventional loan. Uh, a lot of people think that because they're getting a VA loan that they do have to have, the house has to be like in pristine condition or something like that. I gotta tell you, no it doesn't. I have sold some interesting homes that have been approved for VA loans. Now while they will look to see that there is, you know, like you can actually cook, like they do look for a stove, um, I've been able to get away with homes that needed gut renovations, to be honest with you. Um, as long as there were no crazy holes anywhere and the railings were in place and there was no, uh, they, I didn't have a lot of chipping paint, I really was able to get home, I really have been able to get homes approved for VA loans that most people would say, that's impossible, you could never go VA on this home. So don't let that deter you from maybe potentially getting something that's a fixer-upper. It just really depends on the condition of the fixer-upper. Um, and then also, if you are getting a VA loan, you, you, you may have, a, especially if you're an active member, you are going to have a funding fee. If you're not an active member and you are collecting service-related disability, you may be able to not have to pay that funding fee. So definitely look for your certificate of eligibility. See what it says if you are do have to pay the funding fee or not. That also saves you some money in regards to the, the cost associated with getting the loan. Um, and the options are out there. Just you know, make sure you have your DD-214. And also if you are purchasing a property, you can also look to see about additional veterans exemptions for your taxes. I definitely recommend looking for that at the end of the day. You deserve the credit. You deserve the savings that you'll get. Until next time, I'll see you on Money Mondays with Melissa.